What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I am back. I don't know what you're going through right now, but I want you to smile. I want you just to smile at your situation because when you start smiling, when you start getting happy, you take the focus off the negativity and you put the focus on the positivity. Make someone else smile today. It'll change your life. What's up guys, welcome back to another video from Pro Guys. All right, so if you played in a scrim or arena match before, you know there are many different distinct types of players, right? From cycle nerds who just W key everybody, to complete noobs who just make you wonder, am I even playing competitive right now? So I'm gonna be showing you seven types of players. You're gonna run into scrims and competitive matches all the time. Before we get started, we gotta do the question of the day. Who's ready for the question of the day? Which type of player do you hate running into in competitive games? Let me know what you think in the comments. Really curious to see what you guys are gonna say. All right, let's get this going. And one last thing, if you ever watched a pro like Benji, Mongrel, or Lechi, and thought, man, I wish I was that good. If you have, like many other players have, you're in luck. Because all three of these guys have worked with us to create courses on ProGuides.com to help you guys all improve. It's crazy. And on top of all of this, we have a ton of other courses, you know, from some of the most knowledgeable players in the entire competitive scene. We also offer 24-7 on-demand coaching to help you guys become a Fortnite legend. And if any of this awesome stuff interests you, head on over to ProGuides.com com to get started today all right guys without further ado let's get into the first player and this one you know represents quite a lot of pros we watch today i'm talking about the wagerer so the wager is the player we all hate running into in an actual fight in end games there aren't too different but boy oh boy man if you run into the wager in a one-on-one -on -one fight you're in big trouble my friend yeah you are the wager is similar to, you know, a player like Clicks who just grinds wagers and can almost just like completely obliterate almost any one of us in a 1v1. These players are absolute nightmares to fight against, man. Oh my goodness. But, you know, they're the type of player that kills you and you kind of just understand that, you know, you just got outplayed. No rage, no anger. Yo, just respect. If you ever run into someone like this who has insanely good close range skills, you know, try pulling away from the fight if you're in early game. If you have to give someone your drop spot for a game to avoid a spawn death, it's more than fair. Or, you know, if you want to fight, be really careful, please. You know, they probably just know most of the tricks and most often than not, they're at zero ping. So it's honestly best to just disengage if you know you're going to lose the fight. Our next scrim player is the Fisherman. All right, so the fisherman comes in all different forms. Some are insane players, some are noobs, but you know, they all have one thing in common. When they reach in game, they always, always have a ridiculous amount of floppers. You know, there's not really that much to say about the fishermen. They typically just land toward the edge of the map or around somewhere that has a ton of fishing spots like the Northwest Islands, Slurpee Swamp, or the Far South Islands. They land and they loot up, typically to avoid fights, and then they just chill and like they just play normal until end game. But when that end game hits, they pop off. Chilling in the storm with their seemingly, you know, unlimited supply of floppers, the fisherman sits back and he just relaxes, man. You know, just picking off, you know, other players who are either stuck in storm or rotating it. The fisherman is the type of guy that always makes us say, why on earth was he in the storm? <laughs> While it's annoying to just die to this type of player, you know, I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't an effective strategy though. And to be honest with you, a lot of the best players actually do this. So if you want to try it for yourself, the process is pretty simple. Just look up quickly at the start of the game and get either, you know, a harpoon gun or a fishing rod. Head over to any body of water and just spend a decent portion of the mid game fishing. And when end game hits, use your insane supply of fish to just hang out in storm to get easy placement points and get free kills on a ton of struggling players. There's really not anything else to it. Next up is the W Keer. This one's a classic and you know, we all know them by now. The W Keer is the dude who just like brainlessly pushes every single fight. This guy doesn't care all about his loot, you know, his health, his position or the storm really. Scrims are like pub stomping to them. Most of the time, the W Keer is a pretty good mechanical player who just gets bored super easily, right? And really doesn't have the best game sense. If you ever get pushed by a W Keer, build some metal boxes around or just use, you know, BL, Anna's 2x1 strat, right? And just wait for the W Keer to just come to you. When they're forced to push your box, you have two options. Either go for angles and shots and try to just to outplay them in a good old box fight or, you know, push for high ground and take control of the fight that way. 
Whichever way you do it, just be smart, guys. The W keyers typically have insane mechanics, so you're gonna have to beat them in the mental game by outsmarting them. Next up, guys, is the W keyers little brother. Yeah, the Stormfighter. The Stormfighter is typically a player who hasn't really done much competitive and really has no game sense, like, at all. They push every single fight like a psycho and put themselves in the worst of worst situations. They typically, you know, end up like dying in 40th or like 50th place as a result of all of this. One of the most common reasons is, you know, getting a far zone and still pushing everybody. So if you run into one of these players who just camps above you in storm or just pushes you like a psycho when the storm is on its way, you have to just push and kill them. These players won't budge, they'll just usually hang out. And you know, even if it means losing. So simply jump up on them and just go for the kill. And that's really all that you can do. So just get over with it quick, right? And just rotate in as early as possible. So the fifth type of player is the creative warrior. The reason we put this player in another category is because, you know, they're trying to get better in terms of game sense. The creative warrior is typically a pretty aggressive player, but knows when to disengage. They typically have an okayish game sense, but they mostly rely on having insane mechanics. This is the type of player, guys, where if they develop their game sense a little bit more, they could have some real potential in competitive. You know, the creative warrior typically dies in either mid game or just in like the top 25 with one or two kills. They're definitely not a bad player, but also have a lot to improve on. And, you know, honestly, I think they represent a large portion of the players who are trying their hands in competitive. Most of the players nowadays have great mechanics, but their decision making really, really isn't up to par. And that seems to be what holds most players back from success. The next player is someone not many of us know about, all right, because they're pretty rare. I'm talking about the boomer. All right. <laughs> So the boomer is a less mechanical player, typically someone older than most competitive players, typically like in their mid 20s, who doesn't really have, you know, the crazy speed young players like Clicks and Booga have, right? Instead of relying on their mechanics, they rely on great game sense and decision making to win their games. The boomer often thrives off of placement and in-game kills and scrims instead of relying on early game W King. You know, one example of a player like this is Som, who got second place in the World Cup for $1.8 million. That's a lot of money. Som has, you know, good mechanics, don't get me wrong, but he obviously isn't at the level like of most World Cup pros. So you might be wondering, how did he manage to get second place against the world's best pros? So the answer is, guys, is strategy. You know, instead of just grinding his mechanics all day, he studied and he practiced his loot routes. You know, he mastered an amazing placement strategy, making it to end game consistently, and he ended up getting second place. So, you know, while the older players may lack slightly, you know, in mechanics, they more than make up for it with amazing game plans, right? Great strategy and those beautiful numbers that we call placement points. The last player is the bot. Who knows any? Uh, the bot is just, well, he's a bot. You know, if you find one of these players in a cup or a scrim match, you'll probably wonder, like, how do they even manage to find this? They're typically at a level you're going to find from the average pub player, right? So while they're not absolutely horrible, they're definitely nowhere even close to a competitive level. These guys are typically the ones who land at a POI and pretty much just die off spawn with the occasional struggle to end game just to die in storm because they really aren't good at rotating. The bot is definitely not a great player, but they still are trying, you know, and they're working to improve. And for that, they deserve some credit. You know, also, you know, one funny thing about a bot is that for some reason, they tend to have ridiculously good loot. For some reason, I cannot figure that out. I'm talking about like gold RPGs, scars, gold pumps. It's like, yo, it is such a strange pattern. Whew, this has been a fun video, but unfortunately, guys, we're going to have to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know down in the comments which player in this list you can mostly relate to, you know, along with what you'd like to see next on this channel. Remember, guys, please remember that we read every single comment. I really do. OK, so let us know, you know, if you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it a ton and we appreciate it a bunch, like a bunch of crunch. If you like the video, subscribe and share with your friends so we can get them on this channel as well. We'll see you next time. Mom, where did you put my bunch of crunch? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yes, that was a close one.